I am at the corner of uh, Poplar Plains Road and St. Clair Avenue West here in Toronto on this lovely Sunday afternoon of October the 21st. Uh, I want to show you uh, if anyone happens to be interested, I probably look like a freak out here talking to myself, but uh, I'm really sharing something with you. Look at this lovely old place here. Check this out. This is quite nice, isn't it? It's in pretty good condition. I certainly wouldn't mind that apartment right there, or it's an office. That would be a wonderful place right in the corner. Lovely spot here. 213. St. Clair Avenue West. Looks like there might have been a uh, doctor's office here. Likely still is. Sizable parking lot. Nice little balcony back there. A little landing on the fire escape, no less, but still attractive to a certain degree. Look at this old place. Uh, there's a bit of paint peeling off of here. Um, and this could seriously use uh, a sand blasting or a water blasting or whatever is the norm nowadays and most friendly. Turn the sound of a streetcar going by. Now, the last time that I walked past here, uh, I do this frequently, on the other side of the street down a little bit is Glenn Gould's place and I always find it kind of inspiring to walk past there and pick up some vibes or energy um, and of course it goes without saying we are across the street from the massive and monumental Timothy Eaton Memorial United Church still seems to be going strong after these what somewhat 80 years um, I'll get to my point and my point is this there's a development proposal here check this out this is what they want to build here right here It doesn't really look that unattractive, but it certainly doesn't look very inspiring. It looks boring as hell, if you ask me. Um, so I would think that the neighborhood uh, residents, I don't know if they have a residence association here. Uh, I believe that Councillor Matt Lowe, uh, Josh would be the guy to speak to about matters such as this. But at any rate, let's go back here. A rezoning application to amend the zoning bylaw to permit one 11-story residential building with 172 units and 410 square meters of ground level retail. The development will provide 170 parking spaces, including 43 visitor spaces. Parking will be provided within four levels of underground parking and eight at grade spaces with OPA also submitted. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, statutory public meeting information will be posted once a meeting has been scheduled. Um, this would be of interest to those of you who happen to live in this neighborhood. And if you have any concern about um, what this building is really gonna do to this stretch of St. Clair, um, that building right across the street is new, but it looks old. So it's sort of in keeping with um, the architectural uh, dynamic of this neighborhood, which of course, like any, is changing, but ask yourself a really good question. Does this really look like what you would like to see here, instead of this? This is lovely. These buildings could use a little bit of love and care. This is really nice here, this one. I took some photos recently. I walked out behind, there's carriage house back there too, uh, which they have a nice little sign there. They call it the carriage house, but uh, that's uh, 219 St. Clair Avenue West. And uh, obviously this is 223 right here. This is a lovely spot. So all that, that, all of this right down to the corner where we just were all demolished for that uh, box. So we'll see what comes of this development proposal. And the neighbors have just It just it sets a precedent, and I think that precedent has already been set in Toronto dangerously, I might add. Uh, 
sometimes you'll see a building like that through there. I don't know if you can see through the uh, streetcar uh, barrier there. Some developments have been done uh, with considerable respect to their surroundings. Uh, and not that it would seem just to be an apparent cash grab. Um, I don't know enough about the development proposal that we just looked at. Uh, I personally, I don't think it's a very good idea. I have spoken to uh, random people on the street one Sunday afternoon. I was walking past here. Actually, they live in this building. I wish I could remember their name, a lovely uh, older couple, retired couple, um, who told me that uh, they had concerns about this development. Um, so did uh, a number of other residents as well. So I would suspect that there's uh, some consensus amongst the neighbors that this isn't the best proposal ever. Uh, and I suspect that there's probably a lot of people uh, very well off that just go and hide in their house at the end of the day uh, with all their fancy trimmings. Some people uh, I know that have a lot of money don't really care about what happens around them as long as their place looks good. chest. It's been bothering me for a little while. I wasn't sure when I was going to walk down this way again, but it's 20 degrees on October 21st, 2012. It's a lovely afternoon. Thomas Monroe here. Thanks. Bye-bye.